Hallelujah. At this time, let us be upstanding and welcome our dear Bishop. Let's give another praise to God for our dear Bishop. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord, people of God. Let us uh, give a big uh, roar and round of applause. Happy New Year to our live stream friends, to all watching, to all joining, to all worshiping together with us and to one another. Give Jesus some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you. You may be seated. Happy New Year once again to everybody. But a blessed Jesus New Year for those that are in the body of Christ who have made the sacrifice to really commit and be saved in the name of Jesus and stay saved and focus saved every day with Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kita tu rumah dia tu ya tato, ya kami tak kira kau ye. Aku tak mahu aku tu mahu ya tato kita tu dia tak mahu tu. Oh, tu orang ni lah tato. Hallelujah. The same stage we are live, but to glorify and to praise our God, for the dead do not praise the Lord. Our our focus for Jesus focus for 2022. Hallelujah. Is Jesus focus. 2022. Hallelujah. Yesu anake ruanga uru ruanga uru marua. Totato irava salomo ivanga uru ma itu irava rua. Clouds and darkness are around about him. Righteousness and judgment are the habitation of his throne. Te takako iara aia e te o tumurangi e te puiri. O te tua tua tikara e te tua tua tau O te tumuia o tona terono That is our Jesus focus 2022 and Yesu anake Everything zero, one accord, Jesus Not Jehovah, Jehovah is fulfilled in Jesus All the Jehovah's titles were fulfilled in Jesus It's no more the Father because the Father is Jesus no more the Son, because the Son is Jesus. No more the Holy Ghost, but His name is Jesus. Hallelujah. He is the great I Am. He is the author and finisher of our faith. He is the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning, the ending, which was and is and is to come. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He is your healer. He is your light. He is your strength. He is your everything. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. He is your prosperity. He is your gold and silver. He is your physician. Hallelujah. He is your joy. The joy of the Lord is our strength. None other but Jesus. Rise up in Jesus. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Let me go through our text one more time. Psalm 97 at verse 2. Clouds and darkness are round about him. Righteousness and judgment are the habitation of his throne. Hence our theme from darkness to light. Like a newborn child in the flesh and in the natural, we are totally, absolutely helpless and hopeless without the proper nourishment and nurturance of our parents. Like we are living a life in pitch darkness in the womb of our mama. Where our only hope for survival lies at the mercy of those receiving us. The doctors, the nurses, the midwives, the parents, or real and true family. Can we imagine the many thousands and millions of children that are only conceived but never born into this world 
simply because they have been aborted. They have been terminated. They have been unwanted. They were abandoned and rejected to die. Who by real human beings who thought what they were doing was okay. Others made it out, but only to die at the hands of poor medical provisions, poor or untrained medical staff, parents and families as well. Those who survive perhaps end up in the care of the most loving, caring parents and families. But either way, proper or improper care, well to do or not, both still lacks the means and ability to understand of another transitional phase from the natural to the spiritual. As the Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians 2.14 declares, but the carnal, the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God. They are foolishness. That's why they are born children, because of their foolishness. That's why they fight, they cause war against each other, because of their foolishness. Of their pride and ego and jealousy and vengeance, one against each other. Foolishness. They are foolishness unto him. Neither can he, she know them because they are spiritually discerned. We are only able to see the goodness, the wealth of the grace of God in each other, in the world of humanity, when we have the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Being born again in Jesus Christ, similarly, Puts us in a helpless and hopeless situation without the proper nourishment, nurturance of a real and true spiritual parents and families or caregivers. New souls born in the faith, ushered into the body of Christ. We were there and supposed to embrace, supposed to nurture, supposed to nourish to as far as we could because it costed the life of the Son of God to die on Calvary for this poor soul not to be abandoned and rejected and left to die. We repeat the same voice of Cain. Am I my brother's keeper? Am I my sister's keeper? Am I his keeper? Her keeper, their keeper. If you weren't, you wouldn't have been in the plan of salvation for the soul that is committed to our church in the body of Christ. Would have been better for a millstone tied around our neck and thrown to the deepest ocean. Would have been better that we were never born at all. In that same situation, many are born into a life totally oblivious or uncertain of another life beyond the natural and the physical. Just, hallelujah, as Jesus has said in John 3, 6, that which is born of the flesh is flesh, that which is born of the spirit is spirit. A total and absolute contrast between that which is born of the flesh and that which is born of the spirit. Which Jesus again elaborates at verse 5. Verily I say unto you, except a man and a woman, a boy and a girl, be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. And at verse 5. Except a man and a woman, a boy, a girl, any human person that is born of the water and of the spirit cannot, cannot, cannot enter into the kingdom of God. 
Yes, at repentance, we are only see God at a distance. There seem to be clouds and darkness surrounding us. As if we are only groping in the dark and wants to quickly come out of it and into a brighter light. We have flown on planes. We have been afraid of some of our flights where we ran into a turbulent where it was all darkness outside. Thick clouds darkened the whole plane. All we do is just sit there and utter our simple prayer. Lord, bring us out of this. Have mercy upon us. We've all gone through that. People of God, we have yet a lot to relinquish, a lot to let go of, a lot to shed off the old skins and old furs. A lot of habits, old habits to be thrown out. Attitudes, behaviors, conducts need to be realigned, reprioritized, refined. We hear the teachings of Christ of the Bible, the testimonies of the saints, the sharings, and so forth, but still surrounded by clouds and darkness, still struggling and battling how to fully understand what we are hearing and getting bombarded with more of praises, more of worship, more of prayers, more of fasting, more of giving, more of living in a holy, sanctified life. More clouds and darkness causes some doubts. More clouds and darkness causes some to disbelieve, insecurity, and fear of not ever getting anywhere near to what we are hearing, which may seem threatening, intimidation, exploitation, and seem way beyond and out of reach. We're in darkness. But our text says he is surrounded by clouds and darkness. We are surrounded by all kinds of storm. Peace be still, my children. Fear not. And he commanded the storm to dissipate. Be still and be calm. We easily forget the darker the closer God is with you the deeper the hole the closer is he the heavier the burden the closer is he because that was his attribute that was his character he bore our sins nothing too heavy for him As we draw closer and closer, receive our Holy Ghost, the real teacher of the Word of God, opens up a new level of understanding to new joy, new appreciation of the Word of God. A new light from within us begins to shed light from inside of us. Then as Moses, We put ourselves in his shoes. We put ourselves in his position. We begin to take his natural shoes, our own natural shoes. And here's God saying, you are now on holy ground and on sacred ground. Take your shoes off. Take your carnal and natural, physical, fleshly, worldly shoes off for this is holy ground. We get rid of a whole lot of familiar ways of approaching God religiously, ritualistically, legalistically, than spiritually and personally. We were always listening to others say prayers, sing psalms of praise, testifying of the goodness of God, but now we are doing it yourself. Slowly, we are beginning to feel more confident in ourselves. We're in the Sunday school group. We were rock and stone before, but now those stones and rocks have got mouth and beginning to praise God. Now we can pray. 
now we can sing now we can testify now we can intercede for others all that i couldn't do before i seem to be able to do right now clouds and darkness seem to be thinning off slowly passing away slowly i think i know who god is his face is becoming clearer he used to be very distant i couldn't hear nor even reach he seemed to be getting closer then a great light shone around about me as if talking to me like talking to moses and elijah this is my beloved son whom i am well pleased hear he him the law of the word is become grace unto me liberated by the spirit of god the words that i speak unto you they are spirit and they are life not of the letter but of the spirit for the letter killeth the law killeth the ordinance killeth the statutes killeth ceremonies festivals killeth but the spirit giveth life and not as moses which put a veil over his face that the children of israel could not steadfastly look to the end of that which is abolished nevertheless when he shall turn to the lord the veil shall be taken away the veil is removed now we see boldly we see freely we see accessibly now on being born of the spirit of god and receiving the precious gift of the holy ghost now the lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty liberty hallelujah i don't care who's watching i don't care who's judging me i don't care who's criticizing i don't care who's jealous about what i do i don't care i'm in the spirit of the lord i'm free to worship my god in spirit and in truth in the gifts and the talents that he has blessed me with what are you afraid of what are we afraid of nothing we're only afraid of our own selves of our own insecurity hallelujah in the holy spirit therefore i am standing in the very presence of jesus christ like thomas saying my lord and my god my lord and my god not the lord and god through him not the lord and god through the bishop not the lord and god through an elder not the lord and god through any deacon mine my lord and my god deal with me directly personally intimately passionately you and i the bible has been so many stories so many psalms so many laws and statutes and ordinances so many prophecies so many parables so many prayers so many words 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 to us or we hear about words words we get bored we get drowned i can't be bothered i don't understand i don't have no time but i got hours on my mobile I have hours on the Facebook. And the word is pushed to the side. Like an impossibility or a jigsaw puzzle. So very difficult to comprehend, let alone trying to understand them. Like clouds and darknesses. Then all of a sudden the word becomes spirit and life. Jesus then becomes the real word to life. That is the way God speaks to us. Be warned, not by visions and dreams. Because we tend to boast about my vision, my dream last night. God spoke to me in my dream. God gave me a vision. But how much word do you know? 
to base your dream upon, to, pay, to base your, your vision upon. Zero. No word, no foundation. It's all foolishness. Got to have a word to back it up. As John 1, 1, 5 says, In the beginning was the Word, in the beginning, and the Word was with God, and that Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him. Without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and this life is the light of men. The light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Even in the church, it's still darkness for some people. Hallelujah. On discovering Jesus for ourselves, very much in a very personal, passionate, intimate relationship, we become settled in His righteousness. We become settled in His judgment that's holding up the throne of God. As our text and theme says, clouds and darkness are round about Him. Righteousness and judgment are the habitation of His throne. Clouds and darkness are not there for us to doubt God. Are not there to frighten us. Are not there to drive us. He's there in the clouds and darkness. When we have lost loved ones in the depth of our misery, in the depth of our grief, lostness and bereavement, He's there. In your darkness, he can bring it to light. In your hopelessness, he'll bring you to hope. And in lostness, you will be found. From darkness to light, we stand at his throne. Righteousness and judgment are the habitation of his throne. We have a beautiful chorus that says, Thank you, thank you, Lord, for saving me. Thank you, thank you, Lord, for setting me free. Once I was lost, but now I'm found. Now my soul is heaven bound. Thank you, thank you, Lord, for saving me. My papa couldn't save me. My mama couldn't save me. My government couldn't save me. My job, my wealth, my health could not save me. Many died fit, many died rich, many died gorgeous and beautiful. But I'm still alive. I will put confidence, bring whatever darkness and clouds to my life. I know who's in it. Now whom? Chapter 2 says, The clouds are the dust of his feet. The clouds are the dust of his feet. When we fly out there, no security system, no police, SOS to call upon, he's right there. He's the dust in his feet. Whither shall I go? Whither shall I flee from your presence? If I ascend into heaven, thou art there. Make my bed in Sheol, thou art there. Take the wings of the morning, fly to the othermost part of the sea. There you shall take me by your right hand. We are never abandoned, never without God. Our theme says, from darkness to light. Hence, our focus for 2022. Jesus. Yes, Warak. God hath highly exalted him, given him a name that is above every name. Every knee shall bow in heaven, on earth, under the earth. Every tongue, every language, every dialect shall proclaim and confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Reign over us all to the glory of Almighty God. They were all together in one place, in one accord. That binding one accord grew and bonded them all together was Jesus. Call upon
upon me in time of trouble. Pray for the sick, it shall be healed. Drive demons, it shall flee. Resist the devil, he will flee from you. Let's give Jesus. I'm inviting anybody feel touched by God. Anybody hearing the voice of God, even in your clouds and seeing darkness, come. Take this first Sunday of January as your day to say, yes, Lord. I've waited for a privilege and honor, time for me to come and say, yes, my turn, Lord. So I can be used as an instrument, as a tool to win could be somebody from my family could be somebody in my marriage could be somebody in my place of work could be somebody in school use me but I need to be equipped the power of the Holy Ghost come come son, daughter, brother, sister mama, papa give your life to Jesus come to the king